And we are back. Welcome back to the stream, everybody. That was a song called You're Dead by Norma Tanega from 1966. I don't know, for whatever reason, this popped up on one of my random trawls through YouTube earlier, and I thought to myself, it's like, hey, that's actually a really damn good song. And also, hey, why does it seem like I've heard that before? And then I just read the comments section, and it was like, oh, wait, no, now I know where I heard that before. It was used as the opening song for the movie What We Do in the Shadows. Which reminds me, I really need to watch that again. I fucking love that movie. If you've never seen it, you should. It's hilarious. It's it's basically like... Well, I mean, it's not even the same in tone, I guess. But, like, the best way I can think of to describe it is, like, what Shaun of the Dead did for zombies, this movie kind of did for vampires. Although, it's still not... Tone well, I may as well explain it. Like, it's just these four vampires living in a flat together in New Zealand. And it's just this documentary that follows their lives and it's it's pretty pretty funny so yes also there's a tv show isn't there i'm pretty sure there is yeah yeah i might have to check into that too i've heard good things about it anyway without further ado we're going to hop back into some deadlight i haven't played that in a while i seem to recall the last time i did i got really frustrated with a specific spot because i didn't know how to get through it without getting crushed to death by masonry so we'll see how that goes shan't we see the killer about it is like the first time i very nearly got through the area and then i kept getting smushed by the ceiling of course the thing is i'm going to have to try to remember how to hell to play this game I also don't know how much longer I've got until I finish it. I feel like I'm getting pre pretty close to the end, but I guess we'll see. It hurts more and more to think about them. Oh yeah, that's right. He had another freaky flashback about his family. Also, Ben's dead. Ben has died in the accident. His body is stuck in a mess of iron. Hello, Rolls. Welcome back to the stream. Ben Thank died you for dropping by. Bloodstained fragments from the safe point. The new laws lie. It looks overrun. Shadows can't be stopped. Okay, yeah, this was the area... oh wait. Yeah, there's, there's a ruined building over here that I just kept dying in. Yes, I can't get up there. Oh shit. I forgot. There. <laughs> Nuts to you. Boom! Oh crap. They're a lot faster than I remember. Ah, uh, damn it. Not a, uh, not an auspicious start. Let's, let, let's just straight up kill these things right off the hop. First, let's check this body. Okay, alright. <laughs> Try not to get horribly mauled to death this time. Boom! 
yeah, I like how the corpses of the zombies I've already taken out just kind of spontaneously explode in blood after I maul over another one. Maybe they just feel sympathy for their brethren's plight. <laughs> yeah, like that. Okay, I haven't quite gotten to the really nuisance area yet. It's coming up. It's no more than a trap used to hunt the survivors. Oh, there's one in the truck. I was gonna say, where the hell is that noise coming from? Keep living the dream, man. You keep living that dream that you'll be able to get out of that truck. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, see? I can't recall how I got through here in the first place. The safe point is no more than a trap used to hunt the survivors. <laughs> And then I drown, because he doesn't grab onto that ledge. Yeah, the first part of the stream is just going to be me dying over and over again in this one shithole. The safe point is no more than a trap used to hunt the survivors. And Randall's going to keep hammering home the point in my head that this safe point is nothing but a trap for the survivors. Yeah, see, I... I... I should have outrun that, right? Okay, so do I have to wait for so much of the rubble to fall first, or do I just keep running? Like, there's no, there's no way that should have hit me. Ugh. I mean, I can't even remember what the hell happens. Like, like, what caused me to get stuck on this side and not be killed by the falling debris? Like, is there any point where I can hole up and wait for it to fall, or...? The safe I don't know. Is no more than a trap used to hunt the survivors. Oh yeah, this time I made it, but I'm going to die now, probably. Yep, stuck. Dead. I really wish I was able to get a controller to work with this. The safe point is no more than a trap used to hunt the survivors. Ah! Damn it! I think I might need to give myself a celebratory drink if I get through this safe damn building. Is no more than a trap used to hunt the survivors. Okay, I think I'm supposed to hit crouch as soon as I jump. The safe point is no more and the safe point is no more than a trap used to hunt the survivors. In case you weren't certain yet. There we go. Okay. Jesus Christ. And now I die and have to start over from the, uh beginning. Joke's on you, Shadows. I've already defeated my one true enemy, Masonry. Curious as to what I need to do here. Let's whip out the pistol just in case. Yeah, we're supposed to jump right on the thing. Oh, 
Okay, it looks like they're just gonna keep coming. Ah! Damn it! Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God it stops me. It, it stirs me back here. supposed to be doing exactly I gotta do something with that window I'm pretty sure perhaps I need to hit it with a um, with a rock from the slingshot from outside yeah let's try that I guess no it's not the slingshot it must be the uh, Must be the pistol. Probably why they have the bullet there for you. Because there's something to latch on to. That's exactly it. Come on, Randall. Damn it! Ah! Okay, well, seeing as how I know what needs to be done this time. See, at this point, I'd, I'd actually kind of welcome the guy with the, um, attack helicopter. as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the Randall Man. Well, they're the Shadow Men and women, so maybe they can. The radio broadcast. It's the trap the new law created, pulling in survivors from all over the city. Also from as far away as Vancouver, apparently. They're more dangerous than the dead. Leap! I probably need to jump up onto that wire. Good old fashioned trial and error gameplay. A more error on my part. Did I finish reading all of uh, all of his stuff afterwards, except for the the pieces I'm missing? Can't remember. Okay, yeah, I read the thing about the, um... I read the thing about how he had to put down the professor guy. I don't remember... 
remember this one, though. I think I'm going crazy. Two nights ago, when the group stopped to rest in a dive that we had secured, I heard a noise in the bathroom. It wasn't a normal noise. It was a children voice. It was a children voice, yes. A little girl's voice. Nobody would believe this, but after experiencing what we have lived with the dead, I am sure that it was the voice of my daughter. Went into the back room, and I could see her in the half-light. Lydia was there. Her eyes were like torches shining in the dark. She was dressed like before, like a princess. Somebody switched on the light, and Lydia wasn't there anymore. Hallucination disappeared. It was Carlo, one of the twins, who stole my daughter's voice, and was dressed like her, and called for me in the silence. I don't know what is going on. I can't trust my senses anymore. Lydia, Shannon. Names that I can't forget. My head is divided into thousands of fragments, little pieces of smashed crystals, ground sugar, interrupted words. A puzzle that I can't solve anymore. There is no future. These are the days without any tomorrows. July 1st. When I was younger, I could remember everything. Things that happened and that did not happen. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that's an interesting thing to remember, Randall. Now I have to look through these pages to see if I can find my me uh, pages if I want to find my memory. We can see the city from far away, and everything we heard about it seems true. Seattle is a ghost city. You'll never find a place that's nice and peaceful because there isn't any. It didn't exist before, and even less so now. You can deceive yourself like this professor. You may think I thought the professor was dead, wasn't he? But but he did. Okay. You may think there is, but uh, once you get there, when you're not looking, somebody will sneak up and write fuck you right under your nose. That's an um, interesting way to put that. Yeah, and this is one of the earlier pages I found about how uh, Carla died. So yeah, I've pretty much read everything except for the pages that are missing. Radio broadcast. It's the trap the new law created, pulling in survivors from all over the city. They take people, use them. They're more dangerous than the dead. The real monster is man. You know, like every episode of the Twilight Zone, I'd like to keep telling us. And that one episode of the Spooky Door. I'm assuming Randall spent most of his days as a uh, forest ranger or whatever his job was that involved him being out in the wilderness so much, just running around and climbing and parkouring through trees, because that's the only thing that can explain his mobility right now. of the military base safety point, as it was in 1962. During the Cold War, all those missiles, which are not used anymore, had clear destinations. <laughs> that actually kind of reminds me. I'll, I'll probably mention it again the next time I stream Seven Days to Die, because let's face it, I'm going to be doing that sometime. I've played a lot of it off-stream again since... But like, crap. The, the the whole story in that game apparently is some kind of big nuclear war destroyed most of the planet. So the tiny fictional country that you're playing in in that game is the only place that is not completely inundated with radiation. Instead, you've got zombies. Yay. <laughs> The Joy Boy Playmate Calendar? Joy Boy. All right. <laughs> Coming of Washington Today in 1962, which speaks of the end of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Kennedy surrendered then to the communist threat. Now we're paying for his cowardice. What?
What does that have to do with anything? Smash! Oh. Oh wait, no. That's what I get for being complacent. Speaking of missiles, it looks like this is a missile silo of some kind. Why did I do that? I had to jump up, not across. I like how the American flag in the background is flying upside down. For those unaware, fly flying a flag upside down is basically a tried and true, um, oh, Radar Dome, Fort Lawton. Yeah, flying a flag upside down is a tried and true symbol of distress, so... <laughs> it's a lie. All of it. There is no safe point, just a net waiting to catch the desperate and innocent and feed them to vipers, anxious murderers, and vipers, anxious murderers hell-bent on flexing their muscle over the weak and vulnerable. Where are my girls? Have these men taken them? I swear it. I'll find them, no matter who I have to- Oh, shit's getting wobbly again. with a medical report about the disease that the scientists at the safe point were investigating. All their attempts to search for a cure have proven to be a failure. And now they're dead! Well, it looks like there's only one. Nope, there's a couple. <laughs> Can I... I think I've already tested this theory once before and it doesn't work that well. Oh, it worked well enough just then, at least. Idea of a stranger. His name is D.R. Berkowitz. Why, though? I know I asked this question last time, but why is it they thought a fun Easter egg was like, hey, let's pepper in, let's pepper in the ID cards of or ID cards of well-known serial killers? Won't that be fun? In our harrowing game about a strange zombie apocalypse. Last page of my diary. November 11th. The break after the work, the rain after the fire, the rest after the war, the death after life. Sometimes I feel as if I were sitting at the edge of a volcano about to erupt. My nerves, the trembles, and my handwriting when I write. Everything is inside me as it has always been. Everything is inside me, but there are times that it decides to show up. My feet hang over a void of sulfur and ashes, and the heat of the melting stone starts to traverse my spine. It is then when I know that I must go back home with my family. But if I don't do that, it will happen. It will happen whether you like it or not. Like the girls in the forest, it will happen whether you like it or not. It will happen. I don't know why on earth they returned to the mountains. They were warned. Last month I warned them. I told them not to come back. Hell is them. They are the ones who go to the forest to look for trouble. I can't stop myself from defending it. My homeland. I am an animal that defends its territory. I am in charge and the vermin finish the job. Oh. I mean, my theory was that his wife and daughter were probably dead, and I was kind of verging on the idea that maybe he killed them himself, but it seems like, because earlier in his diary he mentions a couple of girls who went foraging for, like, mushrooms or some shit in the area he was working at. 
so I guess this might be who he's talking about. And why do I get the distinct feeling he killed them? Oh Jesus, is that why I'm finding the IDs of a bunch of serial killers throughout the game? Is Am I playing as a serial killer? It's I don't know how I feel about that. Something's not right. <laughs> Jesus, you don't need to tell me twice, Randall. Have they found any survivors? Looks like they found a young woman. A redhead, you know. Registration for the plans that the rebel soldiers had in order to control the city and the survivors of reach the city. Soldiers pretend to create a new order of terror. Origin of the new law. As far as no one heard that. It's the damn radio that broadcasts regularly the false message that attracts the survivors. It should end once and for all with a lie brought to this dead city. Cheat with a list of names of the survivors who have reached the safe point. It looks like men have not been well received inside these walls. Stella's name is the last one on the list. Okay, so his wife did make it here, perhaps? It's like the rat said, we all make choices. These men chose to lie and to kill. They chose the worst in themselves. But it ends now. What's happening? Get out of here, Randall. You're cornered. It's like I have to go on the run from my old friend the attack helicopter again. Or, you know. Throw down your weapon! Throw down your weapon! The rat is in the Throw down your weapon! Where's the boy? I don't know what you're talking about. The boy who was with you. He's no one I know. I said, throw down your weapon! It's not even loaded. Tell us where he's hiding. Throw down your weapon, or I swear I'll shoot! <sighs> There's a lot of conflicting emotion in these guys. It's like, tell us where he's she hiding. Throw down your weapon! Us. Do you hear me? This broadcast was recorded on the 1st of June. A fat lot of good that did, this Randall. must be their base. Stella is here. I can feel it. My family. This is it, Randall Wayne. This is it. I like how frequently he talks to himself, and he also talks to himself in the third person. And what the hell was he thinking? Just turning off the broadcast. They would have known that was... And why didn't he just, like, rip the, rip the transmitter out of the wall and huck it out a window or something? All he did was just get himself captured. A fragile looking door. I can easily break through it. <laughs> I can easily break through it. Bang. This must be their base. Stella is here. I can feel it. My family. This is it, Randall Wayne. This is it. I've been trapped and taken to a strange base. This must be where they headquarter their activities. This is the belly of the new law. If Stella, Shannon, and Lydia are alive, they're here. Oh wait, no, Stella was the other woman that was, uh, with him. Shannon's his wife. I'm sure of it. It all comes down to this, Randall. This is where you get to make choices that other men couldn't. Fight for them. Yeah, the more and more... Like, we get into the game, and the more pieces of his journal we find, I feel like Randall is not not a good person. And I feel like a lot of it is just him trying to... I guess... atone for the shit he did before? A fragile-looking door. I can easily break through it. I could, but...
I very much feel that's not what I have to do. Well, I just broke down the door, but the guard doesn't seem to care. Wait, did I break down the door? Wait, I don't have any of my items, so I can't distract them. It looks like there's a pipe above me, but I think that might actually be the way I'm supposed to get out. Where is it? Because I don't see anything else here in the room. Like, it doesn't really look like there's anything I can grab onto. It's too high for me to grab. So maybe I have to run and do like a rolling crouch and clock the guy or something? No, he just shoots me. This must be their base. Hmm. Stella is here. I, I just have to hear him psych himself up again. This is it, Randall Wayne. This is it. Because there's a grating up above, if I knew how to get to it. It doesn't look like there's anything in this room I can use. A fragile looking door. I can easily break through it. it seems like the minute I break through the door, he's going to come gunning for me though is the problem. There must be some sort of trick to this that I'm not seeing. Yeah, see, because then that just happens. This must be their base. Stella is here. I can feel it. My family. This is it, Randall Wayne. This is it. So yeah, that's the thing. Like how do I how do I get out of this place without him killing me? Oh, thanks for the um thanks for the sub there, Joker. Greatly appreciate it. Welcome back to the stream. <laughs> Three months. It's almost like an eternity to Cap Rogers. Oh, buddy, you better believe it. Time has no meaning anymore. You know that. Time is but an illusion. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything here that I can actually grab onto. A fragile looking door. I can easily break through it. So I need to break through. I guess. That's the only route I've got. And all my weapons are gone. I mean, I do I do have the button that allows me to, like, distract or rather lure zombies. Can I just shout obscenities at this man through the door? Stay near the door, you bastard! Yeah, okay, that works. Now you see, he had a gun. Can, can I take his gun? That would be useful. My backpack. All my stuff's inside. That's 
Stella. How old do you think they are? Probably not even 18. I think it's only, right? You're dirty. This is procedure. Your shower is always procedure. Okay. So these dudes are a bunch of creeps. Good to know. Alright, before I head over there, I want to head back. I need to check to see if I can get to the, um, the upper area above my little prism. Looks like I can. But is this the way I need to go? It's just where corpses. An advertising brochure from a religious sect on an island in the Pacific. An enigmatic, enigmatic woman in black calls to believers something or other. I can't actually look at that anywhere here, can I? No. I'm gonna have to look at that from the main menu. I like how there's so many weird things going on in the background of this game that they don't really delve into. I guess it must be them trying to make it really wishy-washy, sorta confusing about how all this shit started, so it's like... Maybe something happened after the Cuban Missile Crisis that caused this shit to go down, even though this... ...takes place in the 80s, so maybe not. Or maybe some kind of cult was behind it. Piece of Stella's frayed sweater. Take off your clothes. We have to decontaminate you. I'm fine! I'm clean! I promise! I'm sure of that. More importantly, you're a pretty girl. But we have to be sure that you aren't going to bite us. The shower will help us to be sure. Take off your clothes. Oh, please! We'll do it the hard way if that's how you want it. So I get to kill these guys, right? Yes. Yes, I do. Here. Get dressed. What? How did you find me? People who make noise stir up a lot of attention. Hurry up. We need to get out of here. Wayne, what happened to us? Where's Sam and Ben? They're all dead, Stella. But they said this was somewhere safe. That they'd put us in quarantine. That Seattle... You've just seen it with your own eyes. Seattle is dead. That blood in your saliva is the only real thing we have left, Stella. Now, have you seen my wife and daughter? Shannon? Lydia? No, Randall. But they have people trapped all over. They could be here somewhere. Come on, let's go. We've got to find them and leave this place. Quick, Stella. We need to get out of here. We'd better turn off the power if we want to move on. Also, was that like a dig at Stella saying she was too noisy? I mean, Jesus Christ, Randall. You just saved this girl. Well, Randall does come off as a bit of a jackass, so I mean... Let's go. What was your favorite baseball team? The Black Sox? <laughs> Shut up, dumbass! All the sellouts from that team are dead, just like the others. Interesting topic of conversation, but okay. I need help! Don't worry, I'm here. So is this game just going to be like an Let's escort go. mission now? Although, if they just leave it to having to help pull her up from time to time, I think I might be okay with this. Locked again, Wayne. I'm sure this door opens from the other side. Randall! A soldier is coming! Christ, Mike! We must reach the generator before we can discover 
We'd better turn off the power if we want to move on. Somebody has used this door recently. Send reinforcements to check the generator area. As of it, you don't. Wait, is there some kind of crazy cultist lady ranting in the background? with the Arcadian Protocol containing the escape plans of the soldier's base. Also, it contains alternative escape plan using a sailboat of some kind, I guess. The power generator. If I turn this off, all hell will break loose. It'd be my pleasure. <laughs> now you will all die! Quit the lovely stock sound effect system. Wait, what caused the explosion? The soldiers are after us, Stella. We have to get out of here. They're here. Run! Randall! A soldier's coming! Randall, stop drowning! <laughs> I like how they gave Randall just enough time to realize how badly he fucked up before they shot him to death. Run! Randall! A soldier is coming! Don't worry, I'm here. You're dead! Wait, so... Aren't I supposed to... Run! So am I supposed to leave her behind? Is that what this game is telling me? Well, fuck it, let's try it, shall we? Much as I would prefer not to, it doesn't look like it's giving me much option. You're dead! You're dead! You're dead. I think I do need to get her... Don't worry, I'm here. Gotcha. Like, what am I supposed to... It's like they... Unless I'm supposed to kill them. Run. That's entirely possible, I do have a gun. Randall, hey, a soldier is coming! Don't worry, I'm here. I keep forgetting that violence is the answer. until I get shot myself. I thought I couldn't crawl under that. Run! Randall! A, a soldier's coming! Don't worry, I'm here. Oh no, I can climb over it. Oh shit. Hands up, intruder! You're dead! But but no, I don't want to be dead. Run! Randall! A soldier's coming! Don't worry, I'm here. Hands up, intruder! You're dead! Okay, so yeah, this is just entirely a run and gun sequence, eh? Oh, what? Am I stuck? I'm fucking stuck, aren't I? I, I accidentally flipped around to the outside and got knocked over. Perfect. 
uh, reload last checkpoint. Okay, let's reload and actually do this right this time. Good, good. Oh, those are some nice breakdancing moves that that Chavo did. At least I took a bullet for her, I guess. <laughs> Run! Oh Jesus, and they start me all the way back here. Of course. Don't worry, I'm here. Hands up, intruder! You're dead! But no sense in conserving ammunition now, I guess. Except for maybe in the case of this guy. I was going to say I've just used my mystical powers of precognition to already know that before she told me, but... Still have to get out. I see the other shadows are going to be real polite and wait for me. It's like, aha, huh, we, we just wanted to run over and look at your handiwork blocking the door. No big deal. Fuck, 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 fuck! I bet you already were a monster. Kill me! No! Kill me! I can't! 
You have to! You no. have to! Never! Kill me! That's quite the bug hide expression on his face. <laughs> I have no idea what that page was. I'm even finding diary pages in my hallucinations now. Wait, which one was it? Was it this one back here? No, not that. Okay, this must be it. Went down to the city and tried to speak to some of the men. People running, gathering around, stepping on each other. There are hundreds of suitcases and memories on the side of the road. People pile up their cars by the road and by the road that leads to the Hope Hero Dome military everywhere. They're trying to organize the families and making them pass through control points. It's terrible. I saw how they killed an old man from the town right in front of me. It's the desperate cry of his wife and his two sons rang out. The dog barked when he walked by it. There was something in its eyes, in the eyes of the animal, as if it detected or smelled something that only a dog can sense in a human. He undressed him. He had a chest injury, which he tried to hide with all his strength. Gunshot to the head, and his life ended. What should I do? Should I follow those in authority, believing in the words of those liars, or should I escape to the woods with my wife and daughter? I don't know what to do. I don't know what is best for us. I need to go back. I need to take care of the problem in my own way. I must find a solution to all this. I'm desperate. I need to breathe. I need air. My head is going to explode, probably. Just brought some of my friends home. My horrible, stinky friends. Oh! Oh! I don't want to be a monster. I don't want us to become that. Only two shells. Kill me. Kill us. I love you. Don't you get it? You have a choice. We all do. Choices that define us. Choices that tell us who we are. You can't give up. You can't make that choice. It goes nowhere. Choose to be strong for Carla. Choose to be strong for Sam. For Ben. Choose to fight, Stella. No matter what. Choose to live. Me, I'm just gonna stay here with these guys, I guess. I should have died with you that day, my daughter. But I didn't. I couldn't bear it. I put it out of my mind, like it never happened. Buried the memory so deep, even I couldn't find it. I made a different choice this time, Shannon. A choice I can live with. I'm ready. Okay. Oh, well, I guess that's, um, uh, that's it. How about that? Well, I suppose at least he didn't just randomly kill his family for no reason. Still not really great, let's be honest, but, you know. 
you know. I still highly suspect he may have been a murderer, though. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just reading too much into it, but it certainly sounds as if he had a lot of violent, like, violence problems. Well, I finished this a lot sooner than I expected, but I didn't think there was too much more left to the game. If not for the fact that I died repeatedly, I probably would have had this done 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I don't know, if I had to rate this game, I wouldn't say it's, like, fantastic, but I do really dig the art style, and there aren't many 2D platforming zombie games around, I guess is the best way to put it. Honestly, I think mostly the, the main thing I really like about this game is the game's appearance, because uh, the graphical style was really nice. Um, I like the little comic book style cutscenes. That really fit. It really reminded me of The Walking Dead, honestly. Like, even the art style was kind of similar. Well, you know, Walking Dead after Charlie Adler took over the, um, took over the art duties for it. Which was honestly the majority of the run, because Tony Moore only did the first story arc. I don't know, I, I really do like Adlard's art, but I, I really liked the way that... Tony Moore did it. It wasn't as realistic, but it was... I don't know, it was still a sort of vaguely comic booky style that really seemed to fit, so... That and Tony Moore had the propensity to just um, put random cameos in his stories <laughs> in in The Walking Dead as zombies. Like the, at the time, rather famous MC Frontalot cameo, where they come across the zombie version of Frontalot in the woods eating a deer. I suppose if I really want to actually delve into this, I, I can kind of understand that guilt was probably what caused Randall to just stay behind to get eaten to death. But how, how, how good are Stella's chances exactly? And I'm not even saying that specifically because like, well, you know, like the escort mission where you had to help her escape wasn't anywhere near as bad as it could have been. Harold Ratman Ratten. Apparently his last name is indeed, Rat indeed Ratten. But yeah, so like I said, I'm not even saying that really because it doesn't seem like Stella's incapable of surviving on her own. It's just that it would be a lot easier for her to survive if she had somebody watching her back. Like, you know, Randall, who fought his way all the way through to find her and everybody else. Like, there wasn't really much reason for Randall not to escape with her. He very easily could have. Play Nightmare Mode. No thank you. I didn't find any of these things. I'm probably missing a pile of the secrets. I, I know I'm missing a couple of diary pages. Uh, where was that thing I found about, um... It's Arcadia. Uh... It's a Paris postcard.
Okay, alright, that's... An advertising brochure from a religious sect on an island in the Pacific. An enigmatic... An enigmatic... I keep mispronouncing that word. Enigmatic, yes. Woman in black calls to believers. Build your ark and visit paradise before it's too late. Come to our sacred Arcadia. Okay, so I guess the escape plan was that the, um... The soldiers were going to end up going there, which... It doesn't really seem... Were they really in cahoots with them, then, in that case? I don't know. Is that where Stella's going to go now, maybe? Hard to say. Hard to say. Anyway, I finished that a bit sooner than I thought I would, so I might actually... Let's get out of that. Wanna know something stupid I don't, I've only just realized? All the achievements for this game... Hold on, I'll only switch over to the webcam for a moment. All the achievements for this game are named after songs, specifically probably songs that came out in the 80s. Like, for example, the one for uh, performing a headshot is called Rust in Peace. Uh, finding Parker in the hockey arena is called Never Gonna Give You Up. Finish Randall's Nightmare is Under Pressure. Holding Out for a Hero is Reuniting with Stella. Tainted Love is finishing Randall's flashback. Come Sail Away is making it to the end. Nice, nice theme naming they have there. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, like I said, I wasn't expecting to finish that that quickly, so I think I might just say screw it and jump right back into maybe an hour and a half or so, or so of seven days to die, because... Why the frig not? <laughs> the game. Oh, that game. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little break of about maybe 10 minutes or so to, um, well, 5-10 minutes, say, to get myself some more stuff to drink and maybe have a little snack, and, uh, yeah, I'll be back in just a bit. I'm just going to throw on some random vintage Halloween music, I suppose, for you. Normally I select these songs, but, uh, let's, let's see if I can find a pair of them that are pretty good. Hello, Baked. Welcome to the stream. You may have been lurking for quite some time, but... The kapow is, has been had. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can go through uh, Boogeyman by Johnny Long, Witchcraft by the Spiders, and Children's Day at the Morgue by Sheldon Allman. I'll put those three songs on for you now, at least I think they're going to play in that order, and I'm going to go grab some drinking foodstuffs, and I'll be back with some Seven Days to Die. I shall be back soon. I shall see you shortly. <laughs> 